Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about constrained layer mass damping. Wow, that's a mouthful. Let's talk about noise. Vibrational acoustics. Two types of energy we have to think about when we're dealing with noise and airborne energy. The music and voice in our rooms is airborne energy, right? But vibrational acoustics starts out as airborne energy from a source strikes the wall, but then it turns into vibrational acoustics. It's no longer airborne energy. It's changed. And we have to treat it differently. We have to treat that change of energy different. Different treatment types required for airborne versus noise. And this is where people get mixed up. <coughs> Excuse me. They use noise or they use the treatment types that we use for absorption, they think that's a noise technology. The classic example that I chuckle all the time is that, can I use your foam to stop the garbage truck noise on Tuesday mornings at five o'clock so I don't wake up? No. Foam is for airborne energy, for middle and high frequencies. Has nothing to do with vibrational acoustics or noise transfer, right? So barrier, we use a technique called constrained layer mass damping. Look at the graphic here. You can see this is one of our 40 plus types of barriers that we design, depending on the frequency and amplitude of, your, of the noise. You can see a series of layers. You can see different material types, different densities, different construction methodologies, different orientation in the room. One side faces the noise, one side faces the room. So all has to be calculated. Constrained layer mass damping is a series of layers of materials with specific densities arranged in a systematic order to deal with the frequency and the amplitude of the noise. Okay, you got to make sure it's frequency and amplitude dependent. This is where people fail. They have no idea what material type works for what frequency. And I understand that. Only experience in testing will give you that. And 95% of the noise technology you hear on the internet is worthless. I get calls every day from people that follow that advice. Most of it's 50, 60 years old, and it doesn't work. So you spend all that time, effort, lose all that space, and you'll still have noise transfer. So you don't want to find out that later. Let's use an example. We've all been driving in the mountains. We see these exit ramps specifically designed for trucks that lose their brakes. So if you're in the mountains and you're going down a steep grade, 10% grade, you lose your brakes. This is a lot of rolling mass that will cause lots of issues. So you exit the ramp. And what is the ramp? It's usually a 45 degree incline that you go up if you don't have brakes. And you get to the top here and there's usually sand or water containers. They're using gravity to slow the forward momentum of the vehicle. If it doesn't slow by the time it gets to the end of the ramp, there's water and sand to continue the process. We're bleeding off energy. Same thing in a room. When noise hits that wall and starts to go to vibration, we want to bleed that energy. So we bleed it using constrained layer mass damping. So if we get a curve like this coming in, we want it like this on the other side of the wall. We're bleeding energy just like the truck example. And we're doing that through a series of materials arranged in a systematic order based upon our noise numbers. That's why noise numbers are so critical. Guessing with noise is a fool's game. You'll guess wrong every time. Because look at the complexity of design that you have to go through with constrained layer mass damping to get the results that you require. We guarantee all of our noise designs 100%. Because I've built all these. 
When I was a real estate developer, I built all of these and tested them. I know what works and what doesn't. And only through experience and testing will you get that. We can help you. We can give you the solutions that you need. You got to measure the noise. Because as you can see in our mass damping approach, every noise is frequency and amplitude dependent. So you have to choose the correct barrier. You also have to choose the co correct construction methodology. There is no one size fits all. Everything is specific when it comes to noise. The material types you use, the way you arrange it, and the way you install it. And there is no wall hanging panel that will stop noise. Noise is like water. It'll find the weakest link and go right through it, around it, over it, or under it. So we use constrained layer mass damping in a technique that we call sandwiches. If you have a wood frame structure, we install the sandwiches between the studs. So you, you'll use kind of production lines to build the sandwiches. Every wall surface may be a little different. Then you'll install them between the studs, and we have techniques for that. Constrained layer mass damping, a wonderful technique to reduce the vibration noise transmission that goes with it for any kind of noise and barrier design. I hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.